So dear participants, welcome you all to our today's discussion on project management. And uh, most of the discussion will, uh, will be from project management and managerial approach. Uh, it's written by Jack R. Meredith and Samuel J. Mantle Jr. published by John Willie and Sons. And besides these, uh, the necessary information well, we are adding from other sources too. Uh, we are continuing our uh, discussion uh, as a continuation of our uh, last uh, discussion. Uh, I'm Dr. Tanvir Mohamed Haidarari, Professor of Finance and International Business Management, University of Chittagong with you. And chapter objectives already I displayed once uh, what we are going to cover, concept of project, characteristic of project, classification of projects, then project management, uh, then the importance of project management, the functions and skill set in project management, project life cycle and McKinsey 7S framework. Uh, though we have already defined what is project, but I will obviously repeat the definition. But before that, uh, we need to be clear about our destination. So I have already made that what destinations are really waiting for the students and participants who are studying project management, what kind of career uh, we have uh, after starting this kind of course that I explain uh, a lot. Uh, so you just remember that. And when we talk about a project, each project uh, uh, has many objectives. But as a project management student, we must keep in our mind three key objectives, three main objectives that why we do project, why we go for a project, why we take a project, why government uh, takes project, why organization takes projects, because uh, uh, for because of achieving uh, three objectives. One is performance. That is, we want to see that our tasks are really uh, uh, maintain all the qualities. Uh, so this is performance. The second one is time. We want to accomplish our task within a time frame. And the third one is cost. We want to accomplish our task uh, within the budget or within the cost uh, that is allocated for the project. So these three objectives we must keep in our mind before we enter into a project. Uh, there are some changes in managing organization nowadays. You know that uh, we are moving forward from traditional management style to participatory management style, democratic management style, where uh, uh, employees are taking lots of decisions. They are contributing a lot. Uh, they are owning organization a lot, where owners and top level uh, people are taking less decisions. So that's why uh, we need to think twice and thrice before we take a project and how uh, will we proceed with the project. And also we see that uh, currently uh, there is an adaption of the system approach. System approach means we know that uh, management is the process of uh, designing and maintaining an environment. Uh, it means uh, management is the process of designing and maintaining a system. Environment means it is a system. So when we establish a system, we design a system, we maintain a system, the system will run the organization automatically. And third, uh, what we see that uh, organization, uh, they are much more strategic nowadays. They are much more proactive nowadays. Uh, their direction plans are, are for, uh, outperforming their competitors and ensuring superior uh, profit. So these way organizations are uh, moving forward and we observe these kind of changes when we take project and we uh, proceed uh, with the project activities. Before we define project, we must keep in our mind these terminologies. Uh, we must understand the distinction between the following terminologies. Uh, one is program, the second one is task, third one is work packages, and fourth one is work units. So uh, when we talk about a project, then we incorporate the sense of all these four terminologies. So what is program? Uh, when we say it's a program, uh, then you have to keep in your mind that uh, it's an exceptionally large, 
long range objective that is broken down into a set of projects. So you see that which one come first? The first come program. So suppose the government has a literacy program. That means government wants to explore uh, education from each and every Puchilas, Union, Thanas or other places. So program is large. So within program, we have many projects. Again, you must keep in your mind program, exceptionally large, long range uh, for achieving vision 2041 to make Bangladesh a developed country. Uh, we can take many projects. So program is that we are going to be a developed country and for this government has taken a program. That's why it's exceptionally large, long range objectives that is broken down into a set of projects. So one, uh, 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 the, the, what was the term task? Task is a set of activities, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. 10. So there are a set of activities comprising a project. So within a project, you have task. Then what is work for cages? Division of task. You can, you can divide task as per their homogeneity. Like all the purchase activities can be that treated as the activities of a purchase department. So what you did, all the purchase activities under one set, or all the supply activities in another set, all the IT activities in another set. This way you can make work packages. And the uh, last one, work units. It's division of work packages. So first you have made work packages, then division of work packages. Suppose uh, three, four, uh, uh, work packages can form production department. Four, five work packages can form uh, sales department. So these way uh, you have to understand what's the real difference between program, task, work package, and work units. Then uh, you can uh, use all the definition that we have checked earlier. Uh, that what is project. So today I'm not going to check all this, uh, just the third one. The project means a set of activities. So you see that project means a set of activities to be performed within a specific period of time under a prescribed budget to achieve a specific goal or objectives. Uh, we explain already that if you want to define any task or activities as a project, uh, the activity or task must have goal and objectives must have prescribed budget. Uh, there should have a time period or, or a specific period of time. And also uh, some predetermined standard, predetermined standard uh, that you need to follow when you go ahead with the project. So there are many other definition, but we check one more definition in our earlier discussion that is given by uh, PMI, Project Management Institute, United USA, that define a project as a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique product or services. So the, your project can be related to product, can be related to services. Uh, you see, there are some examples uh, of projects. Um, lots of, we have plenty, thousands, millions of projects uh, surrounding us. So if you watch everywhere, you will find lots of projects. So there are some examples that uh, can be treated as project, like uh, you are going to design a software package. So there is a project developing a new office layout. That is a project I mentioned in my first class that if you want to renovate a room, that is also a project. So implementing a new decision support system, that is a project introducing a new product to the market, designing an airplane or a workstation, opening a new store, publishing a book or journal, constructing a bridge there or highway, relocating an office or factory, performing a major maintenance or repair, starting up a new manufacturing facility, producing and directing a movie, organizing a scientific workshop. Uh, there are many other examples you see. So now, you need to clearly differentiate between project and programs. So that's why we have some examples of program. You see that these are not project. These are the programs. 
under programs, we have projects. So poverty alleviation program. So you say that poverty alleviation program, not project, food for work, it is a program. <laughs> Adult literacy movement, this is a program. Islamization of knowledge, that is a program. Family planning, birth control, immunization campaign, quality education, campus development, social responsibility, maintaining law and order situation, uh, national election, these all are the programs. These are not projects. <laughs> And 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 uh, uh, please mute. Uh, uh, you 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 should be careful about using your mic. Uh, we are feeling uh, problems. And Sia should take care of this. And this these are not projects. These are not programs. These are the companies. You say these are the organizations. So if you see the Beximco Pharma, don't say that that is a project. Your university is, is not a project, uh, it's, it's, it's an organization. So what are the characteristics of a project? You have defined project, uh, you know the objectives of a project. So you have examples of projects, you know the difference between programs and uh, projects. So uh, now you can also develop uh, features of a project. So we have a list of the characteristics of a project. And what are these lists? You see a uh, project for, for being a project, uh, you have a set of activities. So a set of activities can form a project. A set of activities can uh, create a project. Then deployment of manpower to achieve goals and objectives uh, of a project you need to deploy manpower, you need to deploy material, you need to deploy financial resources, you need to deploy physical resources uh, to be performed within a prescribed time frame. So you see that another characteristic is uh, you must have a time frame. You can't say that this is our project. You have to say that this is a project of 10 years. You have to say this is a project of 15 years. We need to accomplish the project by this time. And project is always one-time activity. You can't say that, oh, I'm taking a project and it, it will uh, uh, be taken again and again, or it is, a, it is a repeated in nature. No, you can't say that. Project is always one-time activity. You have taken a project of building a flyover, so that is a one-time activity. Uh, you can't say that I can use same uh, project uh, to run another task. No, you cannot say like this. Project has a life cycle from introduction to uh, 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 reaching to the uh, boom or re reaching to the uh, objectives, goals, or uh, project may decline uh, when uh, it, it passes its time. Uh, so that's why it says it has a beginning and it has an end. And also uh, there is a feature that is called flexibility. We are not robot. Uh, we, can't, we, we can't be a static at the time of taking a project or at the time of running a project, re remember that PESTEL. I know that you have used this model before, PESTEL, because political factors are changing continuously. Political conditions are changing continuously all over the world. So you have to consider all the political decisions of the government and other countries' government. Economic situations are continuously changing, inflation, deflation, recession, a lot of situations we need to face. Uh, uh, then social conditions are changing, people's choices are changing, habits are changing, uh, their food habits are changing, fashion changing, uh, education system is changing. So you have to consider all the changes, technological changes are here a lot, rules and regulations are changing, uh, legal considerations are changing. So you have to consider all these changes all the time. You have to ask what environment is asking all the time. And that's why it says flexibility in process. You can be very static. You can not be very, you should not be very hard. So you have to compromise sometimes with the changes of all these factors. And obviously there is always an investment proposal. Uh, once the proposal is brilliant, once the proposal is accepted by the authority, a relevant authority only, then you can go ahead with the uh, project. Uh, if you just dream and next day uh, you write, and you said that is a project. No, it, it's an, you must have an investment proposal. And it's always related to risk and uncertainty. So 
uh, when you go ahead with a project, you must clearly identify what are the risks uh, associated with the project and how, what, are, what are the remedies if that kind of risk uh, really arises and has a prescribed budget, without budget, how can you go ahead with the project? Project must have a specific budget uh, uh, expenditure plan. And two projects never be similar. Two projects never be similar. That's what we say is a one-time activity. So 10 years back, you have an experience of building a bridge and similar types of bridge you cannot build today. So that's why uh, uh, two projects never be similar and projects are always <coughs> excuse me always objective oriented <coughs> 